Dear Jack, it has always been you. You quickly became my best friend in high school and you're still my best friend today. I think that's why we have such a strong foundation. Our relationship has been put through many tests, but I think we have showed our friends, our family, and most importantly ourselves, that no challenge is too big for us to overcome. I love you with my whole heart and I can't wait to walk down that aisle to you. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and a magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships, that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. For John, that happened about 15 years ago when he met Madeline in seventh grade at Park Tudor School. They quickly became best friends, which, little did Madeline know at the time, was all part of John's strategic plan. It worked. Madeline, you've been my built-in best friend since day one and my comedic relief since I can remember. While we are 17 months apart, in my eyes, we've always been the same age. You once wrote in your high school senior quote that you admired me for my strength, but I wouldn't be half the person that I am today if I didn't have you by my side. During every pivotal transition in my life, you've been there to guide me. You've always paved the way and graciously let me follow. Just when I was sure our days of spending too much time together were over, Mom asked you to come work with us, and my life has been better ever since. I've had so much fun working with you, teaching you, and talking with you for hours on end every day. But what I've enjoyed most is our love of all things, whatever the others suggest. I feel incredibly blessed to be your sister, and even luckier to be your best friend. In case anybody here doesn't know me, I'm Madeline's younger, but somewhat cooler brother Mike. She's always been there for me. Whenever there were arguments, she'd take my side. She fueled my drive to become a better person every day. You've been the best mentor I could ever ask for, and I'm forever grateful. Jack's been our lives since I can remember. His sassy attitude and witty one-liners can make you wonder why this man has lasted this long with our family. I've considered you to be my brother for a while now and you continue to teach me how to be the best man I can be when it comes to the love and generosity you spread to those around you. You've always put Madeline first, which is remarkable since you've had to be a close second to a stallion that shares the same name as you. But this shows that you'll always take care of my sister. You've always treated Madeline like a princess, and little did you realize that in the process of doing so, you set the standards high for any future boyfriend of mine. And while you have showered her with flowers and beautiful gifts from the beginning, you've been her best friend since day one. And there truly isn't anything more that we could have asked for in a husband for our girl. You as a couple operate in sync. You have challenged each other. You give each other room to grow and nurture your friendships. You encourage each other and your goals. You brought Henry and Toby into your world and the love of endless dog snuggles, late night pictures are the best in the family group text. It's what every parent wants most for their kids. Oh my God, babe. You look amazing. Mom, touch yes, you? Yes, you can touch me. I actually like it without the vest. Oh. Hi. Amazing. Looks so good. Babe. You like it? Look at the vest. Looks great. No matter what, you are the one I want to lay my head down beside at night and wake up to the next morning. I've watched you grow over the last 11 years into such an incredible man. 
Thank you, most importantly, for your commitment to your sobriety, because without that, none of this would be happening. So even though today just makes us official, let's celebrate us and this remarkable relationship we have built. And cheers with our Topo Chico and Lime to the next chapter of our lives. A lot of people probably say in the state that I wouldn't be here without you. You and I both know that it has a little bit more meaning. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be standing with you. And for that, I'm forever grateful. You didn't need to stand by me. Seeing you today, and how beautiful you are, how we've grown, how we're a team now, and we have our two doggos, and our kids will be soon. <laughs> I'm so excited to be right here in Indiana with you. In Indiana. In <laughs> Indiana, make a home with you, make my life with you. Spend every single waking second I have with you for the rest of my life. To die with you by my side one way or the other. I love you forever for that. I love you. Without knowing it, the two of you taught me early on to fall in love with my best friend and never look back. I'm so happy this day has come. And even though you have shared a home and two dogs, the significance of today's ceremony is the start of it all. Over the past 11 years of dating, you guys have shown how much love, strength, and work goes into a successful relationship. And I know you will carry on everything you've learned over that time to transition your relationship to husband and wife. I love you both so much, and I can't wait to see the two of you grow in your marriage. Cheers to a beautiful future. I'm sure my dad will attest to this, but Jack, it's your turn to take over the reins, literally and figuratively. Enjoy the horses to come and my sister as your wife. I love you guys. And now, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.